Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Today is Thursday, and you know Thursdays are meant for throwback. Yes, so today we are going to talk about the famous three all draw between Ghana and Real Madrid. Yes, you know, usually it doesn't happen that national teams will be playing club side, but in 1962 it happened in Ghana at Accra Sports Stadium, over 30,000 fans. They witnessed a historic game between Ghana and Real Madrid and I will even tell you that it has to take Real Madrid the last two minutes in order to get a draw in this particular fixture. Okay. Now me cry and me buy me 17 minutes in my first part in the aqua this year today. And my year 3 2. And so now Real Madrid but you can have my year 3 2. So I would say it took Madrid something extraordinary to salvage a draw in this game. This tells you that Ghana we have a very rich history that we can talk about because Madrid was coming into this game after winning the European Champions Cup five times and um, in 1962 they were the runners up and they came into this game with the likes of Alfredo Di Stefano and also Ferrer Puskas. Stefano was the captain at that time then uh, Puskas was also one of the top players in that game. Then Ghana having the likes of Agrafin then I'm um, talking of Robert Fons with Fumi and the others they made sure that Ghana will actually play a fantastic game and um, you know Kwame Nkrumah being the president at that time and the Real Madrid president at that time Santiago Bernabeu he led the team to Ghana here He's, he has been named on the stadium or the home grounds of Real Madrid Santiago Bernabeu and it has been a fantastic history that has Ghanaians we should know so that we will know where the Black Stars of Ghana we actually came from in fact after that tournament Ghana we went on to host the AFCON and also won it. So we have a rich history that we need to talk about it. How did it happen? Let's check it out here on this channel. Before we delve into the details, like the video first of all, drop us a like. After that, you subscribe, you leave your comments, then you tell me, were you alive at that time? I don't know. Maybe you witnessed that game. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box and also let me know what you think about it. Now let's get into it. In 1962, as I've already told you, yes. This is never to be forgotten day for Ghana football as the great Real Madrid team with the likes of um, Ferran Puskas and Alfredo Di Stefano as I said already they landed in Ghana and played against Blasters in a 3 all trailer at Accra Sports Stadium in front of over 30,000 spectators on Sunday 19th August 1962. Yes, and I'm um, Kwame the first president of Ghana believed in Africa unity and um, he decided to use Black Stars as a tool to accomplish that. Hence, appointed um, Ohinijan as the first director of sports. Through him, Ghana built a strong Black Stars. The game began when Real Madrid were actually, you know, put, putting passes together. They were showing off what they can do. And um, they humiliated Ghana at that moment. And about 15 minutes, Madrid were dictating the pace of the game and um, in the 17th minute skipper for Ghana that is Agrafin sent a beautiful pass to center forward Edward Aqua who with a first time drive scored the opening goal um, you know amid defeating cheers from the Ghanaian side so just on the 17th minute then um, Edward Aqua made sure that he received that pass from Agrafin then he finished off for Ghana, for Ghana to take the lead on the 17th minute. So, at 17th minute, it was Ghana 1, Real Madrid nil on that front. Now, um, although um, Ado Odamite and Franklin Krenzel were very stubborn in defense, a combination passes between Puskas, Bueno, and Alfredo de Stefano enabled Puskas to not in the equalizer in the 30th minute. So Puskat has to score the equalizer on the 30th minute and at that time it was 1-0. So 30 minutes, it was Ghana 1, Real Madrid 1. Now game on. The tide turned once more in favor of Black Stars. Agrafin displaying his perfect craftsmanship. The wonderful performance of the Black Stars paid off um, in the 40th minute when Kwame Adakwa connected Wilberforce in Fum's pass to restore their lead. So, um, you know, Kwame Adakwa made sure that that pass from Wilberforce in Fum, he will make very good use of it 
and restored Ghana's lead on the 40th minute. So after 10 minutes that Real Madrid scored the equalizer, Ghana made sure that we came back on the 40th minute before the half time. So half time it ended, it was Ghana 2, Real Madrid 1 on that front. Now back from half time, um, you know, both teams went and renewed their energy, but it was the stars who were on top of the game and I'm gonna made some fantastic runs into the areas of Real Madrid but in the 70th minute Real Madrid reorganized themselves and fetched the equalizer inside right of Duasik he actually equalized for them but Ghana referee Frank Mills ruled it offside and a few minutes later, Puskas um, was also wrestled offside and during the argument with the referee, he headed him in the chest. Just like what um, you know, <laughs> Zidane did in 2006 World Cup. So he was angry, Puskas headed him in the chest and the referee angrily also showed him red card. He said he was not going to leave the field and he didn't leave the field. So the game had to continue, you know. Since it wasn't a FIFA sanctioned game like that, sometimes things like that might happen. So he didn't leave the field and we continued to play. So um, it was Zoko, yes. Zoko um, was succeeded in getting the European giant the equalizer in the 80th minute with a tender boat. Yes, he scored a fantastic goal. And the Black Stars, who were bent on winning the game, played a highly spiritual game as if. Um, you know, their lives <laughs> depended on this game. And Babayara, he put Edward Aqua through to make the scoreline 3 2 once again. So after Zoko equalized, um, you know, we had Edward Aqua who scored the third goal for Ghana. Um, you know, and um, things were actually in the right space. So, in less than 10 minutes for the game to end, Ghana regained our lead and we were leading by three goals to two against the star studded. Real Madrid, you know, so um, you know, as the game were, was going on, Ferran Puskas gave Duasik a defense splitting pass to bring the final score on the 88 minutes to a 3 3. So Duasik had to score two goals on that day, making sure that at least Real Madrid would secure something from this game. Talking of the Real Madrid star started side, um, you know, before I come to Ghana, well, let me talk about Ghana first. Ghana, we were playing at home. So Ghana, we were having the likes of Dodu Ankara in the squad. Oblete Onis was part of it. Ben Simons also started for Ghana. Franklin Krenzel also started. Ado Odamite was part of the squad. Kwame Adapa also played and later on Reverend Sekovi came on to replace him. Um, Babayara also played Agrifin. Yes. He also played a game for Ghana. Wilberforce in Fum, if you can recall him, he also played CK Genfi, was part of this squad. Then Edward Aqua all started for Ghana. Now with Real Madrid, they also started with Jose Araconstan. Then Pedro Casado also played for them. Jose Santa Maria played for Real Madrid. Um, Enrique Perez Pachin Diaz also started. Ferenc Puskas also started. The captain for the side, Alfredo Di Stefano, also started for Real Madrid. Then Lucien Garcio Amzoko also started for them. Then Amasio Amaro started for Real Madrid. Yanko Dosik who scored two goals. And Manuel Bueno also started for Real Madrid. So this is the historic game between Ghana and Real Madrid where Real Madrid has to salvage a draw in this particular fixture. After the game, the president of Real Madrid, Santiago Benabao, yes, he went to visit the president of Ghana at that time, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, and um, visiting him, he gave him some souvenirs, um, including them is the breast pin, which has the emblem of Real Madrid. He actually pinned it there and told him that he has built a fantastic Ghana team and going forward as a country, we can do a lot. Then the then time, you know, the president of Ghana, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, also told Madrid that he's honored for them, giving us this opportunity to play against the star started side. So this is the history. This is what happened in Ghana versus Real Madrid in 1962 when the game ended 3 all. This has been the throwback time. Um, today is Thursday, so throwback Thursday with Osikeni. Let me know your thoughts. Did you enjoy it? Do you want to see more? Should we come with more? Let me know it in the comments box. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This is Kenny TV. And of course, we shall meet later.